Hey everybody, it's Nick with the Bass Channel, and today we're comparing multi-scale and standard scale instruments. So today we're taking a look at two Spectra basses, the Ethos HP and the Dimension HP. They are, in all intents and purposes, the exact same bass. They're both five-string Spectres. They have the exact same paint job. Uh, they are both five-string instruments. The nut material is slightly different. This one has the brass nut. I don't remember the exact material, but we'll have that, of course, listed in the details. Uh, but pickups are the same, preamps are the same, colors the same. So what's a scale length mean? Well, so here's a normal scale, not multi-scale style instrument. This is a 35 inch scale length. And that means it's 35 inches from nut to saddle pieces. Some bases you may already be familiar with are gonna be 34, some short scale or even like 30. This one is 35. And the scale length of that 35 inches is for every string, B-E-A-D-G. Again, from nut to saddle pieces. And now for the multi-scale, it has multiple scale lengths. If you see the nut is angled, also the saddles are angled. The G is 34 inches, the low B is 37 inches. So it does have a longer scale, which is gonna help balance out that tension. So the tension on the 37 low B is gonna feel similar to the tension on the 34 inch G. You'll also notice that the frets are also different. They're angled. What that does is that helps keep intonation. So all the notes that you're playing are ringing at the correct frequency. You've probably played a standard 34 inch scale five string bass in the past. The problem can arise with a 34 inch scale is that that B can be a little muddy. A lot of this kind of stuff, it just doesn't ring the same way that you would get on these notes up here. With a multi-scale, the intention is to alleviate that situation. Because we have more tension on that low B, you get more consistent harmonic content that you would on that B as you would on the G string or the A string, what have you, gives you that coveted piano-like tone. So you do have more consistent harmonic content on the low B as you do on the other strings. So those are some of the facts. But what does that mean in an actual application situation, 
right? So I play a multi-scale instrument. When I'm gigging out and about, that's the first instrument that I grab. I'll play with some country musicians. I also played, I sat in on like a funk hip hop group situation not too long ago, and I grabbed my multi-scale. There is a lot more tension on that low B, which means that this is actually a playable note now. It's actually a functional, uh, there's functional note information here. Whereas I've had a few different five strings in the past and I couldn't ever get it to work. It just didn't sound right. But I found with my multi-scale that if I want to use, of course, the low B, but especially C, C sharp, even D, this is now totally usable territory. Whereas before, if I wanted to do it, I could do it, but it just kind of was lackluster when you compare it to some of the other regular notes in the EADG that you'll get up here in that scale. Very, very cool feature, especially if I'm playing like R&B hip hop stuff that's gonna use a lot of like lower kind of bass earth, you know, earthy dark tones. When I need that low B, it's been really good. That being said, there are some definite downsides that I've encountered to the multi-scale. Well, what are those? Well, you might have a little bit of hard time finding your string brand of preference, of choice, what you really like to use. Um, I think maybe this might be an issue with the industry not being totally up to speed with some of the evolution of the instrument itself. For example, I prefer to use elixir strings. I play all the time. It is now my full-time job. So if I'm not gigging, or recording, I'm practicing. I have a lot of work to do. And I burn through strings really fast to the point where even elixir strings, which is my choice, even a coded string that's supposed to last a lot longer than other strings is still not lasting nearly as long as I want. And I'm having a really difficult time trying to find strings that will work for my multi-scale instrument. That's not even touching on flat wound or tape wound strings. I have not personally found a tape wound string that will work correctly for my multi-scale instrument. That's a huge bummer because I love the sound of tape wounds and flat wounds on an instrument. I really like it. My four string American P bass, I have flats on there, sounds awesome, it's the go-to. I wanted to grab some flats to put on my multi-scale. So far I have not been able to find something that I really like that works for my multi-scale. And that's a bummer. Circling back around to the angled frets. The purpose of those is to help with intonation. So all these notes that you're playing are ringing at the correct frequency, everything sounds good. An added bonus is great ergonomics with my left hand. It's been so much more comfortable. Whereas like if I'm gonna play that C, C sharp, what have you, my wrist kind of does this thing. Whereas now with these, I have a much more comfortable access to that C, C sharp, obviously open, but whatever. <laughs> uh, but it feels really good. I've had some difficulty up here in the register, but you know, because it just personally to me, it feels like they would go the wrong way to the way I would play, but I don't spend a lot of time up here anyway, and I'm still learning this instrument. I haven't had it for a super long time, but I've had it enough to where I have, you know, three digit hours worth of time on my multi-scale. Um, so I spent a lot of time with it, still learning. But this area, oh, this feels really, really good. Took me a little bit of time to get used to the angled frets, but I was able to get uh, get around to it pretty quickly. For what it's worth too, basically around frets like five to seven, eight, nine, ten, around this kind of box, I don't really notice it at all. It feels totally the same. If I wanna hit some of these notes, I've had to get kind of used to it, but around here, it feels totally normal.
So what are your thoughts on the multi-scale versus standard scale? Have you played one? Do you own one? Leave some comments. Let us know how you guys are feeling. And uh, in the meantime, that'll about wrap it up. Thanks so much. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you all soon.